just you have to live your life like you've already you have to live your life like you've already received your blessing that when your blessing comes you are prepared and i will say it's easy what's up you guys Deja here so while i have the chance i'm gonna record the beginning to my video because everybody in the house is making noise everybody so I'm starting my video off today a little different. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking my video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for being patient. As soon as I got to eight weeks, you know, pretty much seven and a half, my morning sickness just got so bad. It was just so much more worse. And so I'm starting my video off today with an interview. I interviewed four of my family members, my mom, my brother, my sister, and my fiance, about how they feel about me now that I'm pregnant and going through all of these Hormonal changes, so let's get the clip rolling. So now that I'm pregnant and I'm getting further down my pregnancy, and my hormones are kicking in, my hunger is kicking in, my nausea is kicking in, how do you feel about me? Um, like, be honest. Like, what do you what be going through your head? Just going crazy. I mean, like, you're always hungry. You know, it's not a point in time where you're not fucking hungry. You record yourself eating and chewing. It's fun. And, I mean, my overall perspective, I'm, I'm just excited to be a dad and, you know, we've made it this far. Uh, you know, baby, even, even with our past. I you know, two babies, you know? But, you know, you make me laugh, you make me mad, like, piss me off, you get me wrong. I love you regardless, and I love that baby that's coming to Please pause the game, please. Why are you this is my YouTube video, please. I just gotta ask you a question. What? So now that we're living together and I'm pregnant and I'm going through all these phases, how do you feel about me? Like, what be going through your head sometimes? Sometimes you get annoying. And that's all. That's it. You cry over dumb stuff. I feel drinks and stuff, and you always hungry. You eat something and then you eat again and then you eat again. Like, you just ate, so why are you still hungry? Now that I'm living with you, and I'm pregnant, and I'm going through all these hormones and emotions, how do you feel about me? Great. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Oh. So the audio in my interviews were going like down and up and down and up. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I think it's just my phone, or maybe it was the way I was holding my phone. Um, ooh, my cat is on Keelan's bed. Keelan, are you so mad? Keelan, the cat's on your bed! You're gonna be so mad, guys. Look at this. You guys see him? Keelan's gonna be so mad. Keelan, Sam's on your bed! Sam, what are you doing? Thanks, Sam. I didn't get my bed. I didn't notice until afterwards. Wow, we expected a fight. Alright guys, so yeah, sorry about that. My cat. He hates it when the cat's on the bed because the cat sheds hair when it's too hot. But back to the video. Sorry, I'd be losing my thoughts sometimes. So I'm going to talk to you guys about my seven and eight week symptoms. They sucked. I only had two symptoms. So in seven weeks, I experienced a lot of pressure, like in my pelvic area. I had pains like on my sides, like my ribs. Had some pressure up here, but not too much. Um, I would say that uh, it definitely scared me because if you know my past, 
I've had two miscarriages last year, literally back to back in July, I think, and then the last one was in uh, December leading into January. It was a really tough situation and it was really heartbreaking for me and my fiance, pretty much my entire family. Um, but yeah, so I thought I was having a miscarriage. Um, and so I went to the emergency room of the cave, like, I told them my history, like, I think I'm having a miscarriage, can you please do an ultrasound and see what's going on with my baby, so I did an ultrasound, and he was doing so good, his heartbeat had went up to 167, and if you guys didn't know, I don't think I told you guys this, but when I got my first ultrasound, I was six weeks pregnant, and I was, the heart was beating at 104, and they said, we're scared because the heartbeat's a little low, um hope for the best but expect the worst so they say come back a week later so i went back at week seven and they did the baby's heartbeat again and then it went up to 125 and i was like yes like i wasn't like yes because i was like kind of in denial but i was like okay like that's a relief and then i went back the day of the hospital this is literally back to that so six weeks for us ultrasound Next week, uh, second ultrasound, seven weeks. So 104 to 125. And then um, eight weeks, I thought I was having a miscarriage. So I went to the emergency room and the heartbeat was 167. And then I just got out of my nine-week appointment and the ultrasound heartbeat showed 177. And the baby was moving around so much, guys. It was so cute. The lady was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. She took so many pictures. But I only got one picture, and it was a 3D picture. I didn't really like it. Because <laughs> I don't understand the 3D pictures. But it was cool. I'll, I'll attach it to this video. Um, And then, what happened after that? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, my 7 week gorgeous sounds. So, the only thing I had was pressure and round ligament pain. When I went to the hospital, they told me that they're going to call it pregnancy pain just because I am small. I'm four foot one. I am very small and petite, and my body is getting ready. Well, my body is already expanding for this baby to be able to carry this baby, which we are doing. And so I get a lot of pains in my sides, uh, round ligament pain, and I get out of breath still. Um, and then going into my eight-week symptom, guys, I cannot stress this enough. When they say that morning sickness, aka all day sickness, picks up at eight to nine weeks, they are not lying. At least not for me. As soon as I hit eight weeks, I started throwing up. My first night throwing up, I was seven weeks, five or six days, getting ready to turn eight weeks, and it was 11 o'clock at night, 11 or two, because I made a Facebook post. And in my head, I was just like, oh my God, like I'm crossing over a new leaf. Because you know that there is nausea where you're like feeling sick. And then there is nausea where you're vomiting everywhere for a long period of time. Oh, fuck, I got them now. For long periods of time. And it just hurts. And especially when you don't have food in your stomach or you haven't been eating as much. And so because I've been so sick my eight week, nine week um, pregnancy month, I have not been eating very well, my weight has been fluctuating, I started off at 100, and then went to 102, 103, 107, 106, 103, 102, 100, and now I'm at 102 or 103, um, as of right now, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my six, my six, for my seven and eight week symptoms, it was just those two symptoms, round ligament pain, and also, um, just really, really bad nausea, morning sickness, or what I like to call it. All day sickness, it just got so much more worse. I'm nine weeks now, and I feel so much better. I'm going to include my belly pics from seven and eight weeks. I'm going to include my ultrasound from seven weeks. going to include my um ultrasound from nine weeks in this video so you guys can see before i drop my nine week and ten week symptom video which would be next thursday hopefully if everything goes well and i'm feeling good the reason why it took so long for me to put this video up is because i've just been really 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 fighting sickness like i think tuesday i spent like an hour straight throwing up 
on top of that i work from home and i have to take phone calls and so i was literally throwing up in between my phone calls and emails like it was just a mess it was a mess um but yeah that's pretty much it this is going to be a really short video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe I'm sorry that i didn't experience more symptoms but um hey after morning sickness is all you really need to be honest because the morning sickness it just takes so much out of you um and make sure you guys are eating and staying healthy of uh, you guys who have lost kids recently lost lost babies recently don't give up you know keep praying keep the positive vibes like you guys are gonna have your baby your rainbow baby's gonna come just you have to live your life like you've already you have to live your life like you've already received your blessing that when your blessing comes you are saved it's easier said than done because when I found out I was pregnant with this baby, I was in denial for a long time and that was just my my protection method. That's how I protected myself from getting my hopes up about this baby. But as I'm going through these appointments and this baby is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I saw him move today or her because I think it's a boy. I saw him move today. It just really hit me like, oh my gosh, like I'm really pregnant. I'm really carrying this baby. And on top of that, I'm high risk. I have a brittle bone disease. I'm four foot one. Like my baby can get a brittle bone disease. It can be uh, fatal, like life or death for the baby. Like anything can happen. But at the end of the day, God got the last word. So whatever you do, just you know, pray up, stay focused. You are blessed. You're gonna get through all of these hard times. You just you gotta be humble and be patient, cause that's. The biggest thing I battled with was being patient. And so I hope that whoever's watching this, whoever needs to see this, that you know that your baby is going to come. But it's going to come. Your baby is going to come. But it's going to come when you least expect it. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. All four. All four. Let me know if you have just lost a baby, if you just found out that you're pregnant. I can use some mom friends if you need advice, like anything. If you need advice on nausea stuff, like I got ginger tea, ginger candy, prego pops. Um, I got a whole box of snacks to go on the side of my bed for whenever I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm hungry. Like, whatever it is, guys, I'm here. If you want to just talk and vent like I'm here, like, I don't know. But, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!